Palmer Smith watches over as you shop for jewelry, chocolate, or a World War I blanket at what they call a modern general store. People come in all the time and say, this place reminds me of something, but I don't know what, or it feels like home, but I don't know why. Jessie Poole is the great-granddaughter of Elmer, an Idaho miner on the left there at the turn of the century. In the town where my great-grandfather raised his children, it's called Atlanta, Idaho. Um, there was a place called The Hub there that had, it was dry goods along one side and a soda fountain on the other side. And at night they'd clear everything out and put hay on the floor and do dancing. Put the kids up on the pool tables. That's what Jessie was after when she and her mom opened E. Smith Mercantile along with shop cat Jackie Bell. So this says euphoria, what's going sure on does. here? Sure does. That is a tonic to help you lift your spirit and be more joyful. Uh -huh. What do you started. have there? This one's a dream tonic for uh, lucid dreaming. Ah, oh. yeah. So these are like magic potions. Exactly. <laughs> they mix other magic potions at the back bar where you can dig into some bacon deviled eggs or burnt sugar popcorn. Back in the shop, you can get everything from a cowtail candy to a Bigfoot patch to bourbon maple syrup. And these hand-carved knives with a mystical eye or an octopus? They use a naturally felled antler, so they go collect the antlers in the spring oh, for wow. the casing. So, and then we commissioned a local artist named Olivia Knapp to do the designs for us. The candles come in cedar wood or tobacco. The belt buckles are big, and the gloves show you mean business. It's a journey back in time that somehow feels brand new.